Hello everyone and welcome back finally to another part of Planets where life of normalcy has ended. Yes, it's been a huge while since... Okay, not such a long time, but it's been a, almost a week that I didn't record anything. And the reason was I, was I didn't have really any time, like no time at all. And yesterday I, I had... Um, I was going to a party from a friend, so I couldn't... Uh, record anything before and but I wanted to respond at least to your comments so you won't be like you thought maybe I abandoned you all or something like that because that's truly not the case and yeah and uh, before I think a little while before the yesterday I tried to record me I think but it didn't really work out and I hope now it's going to work that everything will be just fine that you will enjoy it I will enjoy it and yeah, let's get right into this bag, because I ended in a really mean cliffhanger, guys, I'm sorry, but that's how I am. And I wanted to make, again, like, I want to announce that I think I wait till September, um, when I do my drama live, because then I will have, um, I will get a new equipment, and... Yeah, because in September I will get new equipment and then I can do a really good drama life. But please be patient with it. I will do it. I promise you all. I promised you before and I do it again. I'll do it for you all. I already have prepared. I just need to write equipment and it's coming in September. So uh, be ready for my drama life in September. And right now let's just enjoy the, the game. We still have a lot of things to... Uh, yeah to enjoy in this game. So let's do it. Uh, as expected, kill snaps immediately at once she's left. It's been such a long while. I hope I remember. I watched a little bit of my last part and hopefully hopefully uh, it got me right back into this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, Kazuki? After what you said to me last night, you can't expect me to be reasonable with you. Oh yeah, I was really sad when I first saw this in my first playthrough, how he acted, it was just... Uh... You were going to leave me in that town all by myself. I'm not having this argument with you right now. <laughs> like a father, he's talking down on us. I'm not, con not a confrontational person, but I can't allow someone to disrespect me the way that Chaos has. And when... Uh, wait, what? Then, when are you? I know if I let you uh, leave right now, you just run away and avoid me. You don't know anything. Maybe you're right. I don't know anything about you. Or why you're the way you are, but... It isn't that I don't want to know you, Chaos Kun. You won't let me. So you can't blame me for that. I won't let anyone in, but it includes you. I don't know why you think you're special. But I think at least uh, owe me an apology for those horrible things you said. I've been nothing but kind to you. I don't deserve this treatment. That's true, she was always so nice to him. Way nicer than he was. <laughs> I don't owe you anything. Here's Kun. Are you really that heartless? Are the rumors really true? I thought things between us were getting better. I thought it was changing. People saying you don't have a soul. At first I thought it was ridiculous, but now it's starting to seem like they're right. A surprised uh, expression passes his face. He visibly flinches, as if my words have hurt him physically. Oh. For a second he's silent, but I can see him thinking, Oh, he looks so sad. I don't... This is his puppy face, in my opinion. He's... Or like his... Uh, like his little kitty eyes that he's doing. I can't handle him if he's what, <laughs> looking at me like that. I have no idea what kind of things I would have heard if I could read his mind. But I'm almost glad that he blocks me from reading his thoughts. If you want to believe those rumors, fine. I can't stop you. 
I can't stop anyone. But no matter what others think of me, I can't change. I think you can. You just have to try. I believe in you. A long moment of tense silence passes between us. We stare at each other awkwardly. <laughs> well, yeah, after such a sentence. After a few more moments, Kales turns around and opens the cupboard in the corner of the room, retrieving a band-aid and the antibacterial spray. Oh. He approaches me and directs the bottle to my skinned knee. What are you doing? What is it look like? Immediately after snapping at me, Chaos pauses, seeming to regret it. Oh, well, yeah. After we said what the rumors were, I think, yeah, I think because he thought maybe the people were only thinking about him like that or keeping them the distance because if because he's the principal's son, but he's actually they think about him as a person that he's kind of mean or I don't know horrible or something like that. It's going to hurt. Is this your way of apologizing? You can interpret it this however you want. <laughs> I couldn't uh, keep myself from smiling right now. <laughs> this is why it sounded a little bit weird, but I can see that. Ah, He's too tsundere to apologize in words. <laughs> he puts the trigger and um, a burn of a spray on my open skin makes me squirm. <laughs> Ah, uh, that really stings. I told you it would. Kyo stabs at a wound with a cotton ball he got from the cabinet. I'm surprised at how gentle he is. After cleaning the wound, he applies the large band-aid. His fingers are cold on my skin. <laughs> Aww. It's done. <laughs> oh, you look at him blushing. It, feel it feels better now. What are you thinking, Chaos? What are you doing? Do you think you can walk? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I climb off a bed and put pressure on my leg. It still hurts and I stumble a bit, caught off guard by the pain. Chaos reaches out and grabs my arm, stopping my fall. Oh, how cute. He immediately lets go once I've steadied myself and stares at me with reluctance. What is it? Sh should I carry you again? <laughs> oh, he's so he's so considerate. How cute! You see, once he likes, he really does care about us, but he can't express it in words. I don't know why he's so hesitant. Maybe it's just the way he is. <laughs> I involuntarily laughed at his sudden shyness, which only made him blush deeper. Aww. it matches your hair color, Chaos. It suits you. <laughs> I'll have to limp, but I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Chaos immediately leaves, disappearing behind the door. I wonder what's going through his head. Why won't he just let me know how he feels? Yeah, he should be more honest with his feelings. Hmm. Oh, it's finally lunchtime, but because uh, the rain still refuses to let up, the options of where to eat are limited. The courtyard and the roof are all completely drenched, leaving me only with a few choices. Maybe I'll eat them in my classroom today. There's so many people in the cafeteria, I'll go crazy just being in there for five minutes. Oh yeah. After getting something to eat, I notice Chaos heading to the school's exit on my way back to the classroom. I wonder what he's doing. It's still pouring down rain. He's not planning go to go outside, is he? I should see what he's up to. <laughs> yeah, I think after the few choices that we uh, that really were, were heavy, which guy we are choosing, like in the first playthrough, I coincidentally, like on coincidence, was on Lucian's path, and right now. Intentionally, we are on Chaos Path and we will spend now time with him every through the whole play for now. So yeah, we'll enjoy it thoroughly. <laughs> yeah, my evil demon plans here. <laughs> oh, I feel I don't know. I feel so mean when I'm with him. I don't know. Even though he's mean, I feel like I don't know. 
I don't know, I have so many mixed feelings when we are t when Kazuki and he are together. It's really like it's entertaining, but still I feel kind of bad because I'm because he's always so um how do you call that? He feels so awkward and so embarrassed most <laughs> sometimes. Even though the first time I was uh, the first uh, playthrough I was the solution and he was always kind of embarrassed, but in Kyo's case, it's so much more because he isn't like that usually, you know. But uh, now he's kind of opening up to us, and it's yeah, it's <laughs> just makes me feel this way. Despite what happened this morning, I don't want things to be awkward between us. I know Chaos won't take the ini initiative, so it's up to me. Yeah, the boys never take the initiative. It's always the girls in the visual novels for girls. <laughs> Hey, chaos -kun. I catch up before he steps outside and he stops walking, looking at me begrudgingly. Kazuki? Oh, don't look at me like that. He looks at me uncomfortably, clearly still feeling uneasy after our confrontation. Probably. <laughs> you lag. Oh, he's worried. He looks down at my knee, still covered with a bandage that chaos put on it. Is it better? Yeah, you did a good job fixing it. It hardly even hurts anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> and now he's back to his usual self. All cool and mysterious. <laughs> you aren't worried about me, are you? Yeah, like I would waste my time worrying about you. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be like that. <laughs> right. Anyway, uh, where are you going? It's still raining pretty hard out there. Everyone is in the cafeteria today. It's too loud in there. But if you go outside in this weather, uh, you might catch a cold. Oh, you aren't worried about me, are you? <laughs> oh, now he's turning the cards around. <laughs> Very funny. I just don't want you to get sick, that's all. I'm sure there are plenty of quiet places in sight where you can eat lunch. What about the library? Food isn't allowed in there. Oh, I miss the library. How about Oginuma Sensei's office? I'm like hell, I'm going to eat lunch in there with him. <laughs> oh, no love for his father. Uh, well, there has to be an empty classroom somewhere. Why do you care so much? It's not like it concerns you were meeting. Well, I thought it would be fun for us to eat lunch together. There's no reason why you have to be by yourself. Yeah, don't worry. Don't be like that, Chaos. We're taking the initiative, so you should accept it. You're never going to leave me alone, are you? <laughs> oh, we never will. No matter how mean I am to you, you just keep coming back. Oh, he's he doing it intentionally. Just so we will leave him alone. Nah. You're opening up to us. You're being honest with us now a little bit more. At least a little bit. <laughs> but still. Yeah. Accept it, man. Accept our love and kindness to you. And enjoy it. You're like a parasite or something. <laughs> wow. You don't have to say it like that. Wow. Um... I can't say I've ever been called a parasite before. But whatever, it's become obvious that I can't stop you from following me around. So if you really want to eat with me, come on. Kyo reaches down and grabs onto my hand, pulling me along with him down the hallway. Oh, look at the bubbles. <laughs> Where do the bubbles come from? Oh, I don't mind them. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Oh, holding hands. It's interesting how he like, he just said, well, it's your initiative, so I'm going to do now what uh, what's actually completely normal. I will grab your hand because it's your decision. <laughs> like he pulls the whole like, this whole ta taking our hand and stuff in our shoes. Like we decided it on our own, even though it's his decision to do that. But it's still wonderful. It's so cute. Ah. And now he only has to smile. 
and everything will be perfect. <laughs> That's the only thing I will wish for right now, but it's okay this way too. I'm enjoying it. It's so cute. Ah! This is someone who hates to be touched. I never would have expected Chaos to be the hand-holding type. Yeah, but still. It's cute. And what does this mean, anyway? I definitely don't feel any affection from his gesture, but he doesn't seem to be radiating any many hate-filled waves as usual. <laughs> oh yeah, even though she can't read his thoughts, you can interpret his uh, the aura around him, how he feels at the moment, so you can imagine how what he might be thinking. <laughs> so yeah. Well, it looks pretty affectionate to me. Why are you holding my hand? Because you walk too slow. If you're going to follow me, you better be able to keep up. <laughs> Aww. He accepts not completely what we are following him and he wants us to keep up. Okay, so where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe we should have some kind of idea where we are going before lunch is over. Yeah. Oh, I know. How about my telepathy class? It'll probably be empty. Kios agrees and we enter room 1C, which is empty just as expected. We sit down at the desk uh, across from each other and start to eat our lunches. Somehow the atmosphere around us doesn't feel as awkward as usual. Some, uh, it's more comfortable. Uh, well, I can't pinpoint why. Maybe it's because the feeling of friendship is finally becoming mutual. Instead of just one-sided. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But regardless, I'm happy. Like this. Just the two of us, eating lunch together. It's true, you have to appreciate the little things. It's not always going to be your way or something else that you imagine, but just these things are just fine the way they are. Yeah. Even though I can't deny the fact that Chaos is a sarcastic bastard, <laughs> there's a likeable quality about him. Oh yes, he is our little bastard. Our s sweet, lovely kitty bastard. <laughs> ah, he's so cute. Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> what? I was staring at you. Yeah, you were. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I kind of spaced out. Looking into your eye. Into the eye. <laughs> I would have wanted to see both of them more. It will be interesting too. Maybe he has two different colors on, uh, on each eye. It will be kind of interesting. I was just thinking about how gl how I'm glad we're finally having a nice time together without fighting. After last night, I really thought that you hated me. You need to understand something, Kazuki. <laughs> oh, what is it? I didn't have any choice but to leave you there. It was better than the alternative. Oh, he's going to explain now. He's going to explain why he did that. Alright, we're going to listen to that. Alternative? If I hadn't walked away at that moment, I might have lost control of my psyche and hurt you. Oh, oh because... Yeah, he was pretty angry at that time. I saw that. He was really, really angry. Oh, so he did it... Takashima knows how to piss me off. He knows how to make me angry enough to lose control. Oh well, that's good to know. When you said that you wouldn't defend me, if you knew the truth about me, he wasn't lying. chaos -kun, the reason you left me alone was to protect me. In a really weird and bizarre way. It all makes sense now. <laughs> oh, how I love this game. <laughs> Aww. Chaos nods reluctantly. Then, I'm sorry I yelled at you. You're right, I really didn't understand the situation. But Ryukun is wrong. No matter what your psyche is, no matter how destructive it may be, as long as you aren't using it to hurt other people, I still continue to be on your side. It's not as uh, if it's your fault that your psyche is capable of hurting people. You're trying to prevent that from happening, and that's all that really matters. 
Oh, look at him, Kazuki. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the, the atmosphere is coming up, guys. Chaos looks at me directly with a slightly red face. I am... <laughs> oh, what is it? I want to hear it. I will not make a cliffhanger now. <laughs> that will be way too mean. <laughs> oh, he opens his mouth to say something, but his voice is drowned by the bell ringing overhead. Ah, oh, goddammit, school belts. Always ruining the moment for every one of us. A sharp sound of a... Uh, oh, and it's not him. <laughs> I don't know. Because he kind of moved and... Okay. <laughs> The sharp sound of a bell seems to have brought him back to his normal personality, and he quickly stands up, gathering his things. Aww. See you later! Yeah. Aw, oh, he has something in mind. I can see it in his eye. And then he mo moonwalks out of a doorway. <laughs> Chaos moonwalks uh, out of a room, stepping around some of my telepathic classmates. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him in surprise. <laughs> I just had to read it this way. It kind of sounded pretty pretty weird, I'm sorry. Well, that's an interesting picture. <laughs> just imagine what I said. Of course, all of them are wondering why Chaos was in the empty classroom alone with me and why he moonwalked out of a <laughs> classroom. <laughs> but they can think whatever they want. It doesn't matter. I've always known that Chaos is a good person, and today he proved that to me. Yeah, that's true. When school is out, the rain has finally stopped. The air feels heavy in the aftermath of the summer rain, and the ground is covered in stagnant puddles. No. Well, I think we can skip that. Oh, this is the school trip now. Okay. Let's see how it will work out because last time we went uh, we went in the city with Pollution and I can already feel that there's going to be a good and qu a good qu some good quality time with Chaos if you know what I mean. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, we're finally here. Oh, Rio. Look how yabby he is. Lucian Sama, what do you want to do first? I'm sure that we all want to do different things, so maybe we should split up and meet up later. Oh yeah. But I thought we all we're all supposed to stay together. I'm sure none of us will get lost as long as we have a meeting spot and time. How about we meet back in here two hours? It sounds like a good plan, Lucian Sama. <laughs> sounds good to me. Hey, Kazuki san, Lucian and I are going to go to the cafe. Wanna come with? No, thanks. I'm not really hungry. Alright, see you later. Lucian and Ryo turn their backs to us and head down the sidewalk together. Oh, Ryo Sama, Lucian Sama, wait for me! Oh, do we call it this? You know things like that. I wonder if if Ryu still likes us. Like if he likes us just like that. That he really liked us from the very beginning of the game without any choices that we make. And but I'm pretty sure that Ruiko is still like influenced from Lucian, and they will all still be influenced because I chose Chaos Path and not his. And I don't know. It has some kind of dark touch to everything. Like if you know one path and you think about it uh, in the next one that you choose. I hope everything will work out fine. As expected, Ruiko flows after them with pure excitement. <laughs> so much for me and Ruiko spending the day together. She better be careful. I doubt that Lucian and Rio will try to ditch her at this soon. I don't doubt that Lucian and Rio will try to ditch her at the soonest opportunity. Well, I hope she won't get lost. But with three of them gone, that leaves just Chaos and me, yeah. What a surprise. <laughs> you didn't want to go with them? Chaos speaks to me unexpectedly. His expression is one of genuine surprise. 
What? You thought that we were friends? Well, we are, but... You have some uh, personal, like... Some private times for ourselves, either. No, they're a little too energetic for, for me sometimes. So I thought I'd just let them have fun together. Oh, well, I understand that feeling. What, uh, what was it you wanted to do today? Arcade. You like playing arcade games? You know, it's so, uh, how cute. <laughs> I can just imagine he like, looks, looks at me serious and just... Arcade. And then he just nods like, uh, slowly to me. <laughs> and this is so cute. And it really is. He has a really good uh, outlook. Oh. I'm impressed, but... Yes, I think he is pretty tall. I think she said that, right? I wonder how much taller he is than us. <laughs> There's something that I want to win. Oh, really? Is it okay if I go with you? Well, there will be just the two of us. That's fine. You're okay with being just... Uh, being with being... With God damn it, with typos. <laughs> You're okay. Yeah, you're okay being just with me. I think this is how you spell because I don't think two uh, whiffs are necessary in this sentence. <laughs> or he just kind of uh, blabbered it uh, himself. Well, it's not like a date or anything, right? Right? <laughs> no, of course it isn't. <laughs> Aww. Then we can just go together as friends. Kills quickly turns his back to me, but not fast enough for me to not see him blushing. Mm -mm -mm. You will not hide anything from me today, Chaos. Finally, Chaos didn't yell at me or deny the fact that we're friends. That's true. Oh my god, Chaos, we're friends. This is, this is a really big step of Chaos. <laughs> I can't stop myself from smiling at the sudden development and hurry to keep up with his quick pace. Don't run, a don't run away from me, Chaos. Um, Kazuki. Huh? Promise not to make fun of me. Why? What would I make fun of you about? Just promise me. Okay, I promise I won't. Chaos looks at me with hesitation. The expression on his face suddenly becomes serious. What is he going to tell us? Kind of. <laughs> don't make me feel. Uh, don't make me make me feel scared. Or no, it's not really scared. I'm kind of. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird feeling if you if you say it like that. You're my first friend. Oh. Oh, chaos cool. I want to give him a thousand hugs, guys. I want to give him 1,000 hugs, or hundreds, or million hugs. <laughs> Just look at him saying that we are his only friend the whole time. Is he mean? Does he mean really like from his whole life? This is so sad. Hearing this makes me sad, yeah. No one else wanted to be around me. Everyone is scared. I think I'll hurt them if they get too close. Oh, why are they thinking that? Just because of all stupid rumors that Takashima started. What? What? You can start it with rumors about you. He is a bastard who started telling people that I was dangerous. Why would he do that? I, I don't want to be like, no, like some kind of... Uh, okay. It's a fact that he started it, but I don't want to be like he's a completely bastard right now because just from because of my first playthrough, I don't think he's a bad person. I really don't think that uh, Ryu is such a bad person, but there is something else with Ryu, and I think we will learn that in on his path. And let's just keep that like open in the open. I will not make I will not uh, get myself like some kind of prejudiced opinion of him without really knowing how he truly is because I Kyos is completely different from what I thought he would be I kind of imagined how he maybe will be but he really uh, made uh, and said more things that really took me by surprise <laughs> so yeah but why 
Ryu is the only one who knows my psyche. Oh! He was looking for a place to skip class and stumbled upon me using it. It surprised me so much that I used it on him and it hurt him. It wasn't on purpose, but ever since then, he has hated me. He wants me to expose my psyche in front of everyone so they know the truth. But what is such... I want to know... I, w I, s I also want to know what his psyche is, but he's making... He's making it seem like everyone will hate him because of that. But I don't think that's true because, like he said, he didn't do anything on purpose. Like, I... I never really saw Ryu anywhere hurt. I wonder how he hurt him. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting worried here. <laughs> so that's the reason why he's always picking fights with you. I'm sorry, chaos -kun. I didn't know the reason for you fighting was because of something serious like that. But you don't have to worry anymore. You have me now. You're really annoying and stubborn, but despite that, you're the only person who has ever tried to be close to me. <laughs> yeah, I could have leave the first part. You know, you didn't have to say that. That's because I know that deep down inside you aren't as mean as people think you are. Even though I don't know that much about you, the things I do know show me that you're truly a kind person. Yeah. I just wish everyone else could see that. How do you say mushy stuff like that without even thinking about it? <laughs> this is what I thought, was thinking. I mean, I really like Hazuki as a main, like as a, the main character girl in this visual novel. She is like, she has so much character. What I really missed in, like in anime or mangas, where the girls are kind of always depending on, like the character depend on the other people, you know. And it's really rare to see, like, not really. I don't know. I didn't play it so many visual novels, like, only a couple. But I think in visual novels, the main character is always. Well, for girls. The visual novels for girls, where you can meet the boys. The girls have. The main character girls have a really good personality. Like, in my last visual novel I played, she has an. In, she had a good. Per an interesting. Like, she had character. And this is what. What makes a game so great? Visual novels all depend on the character of the different um, uh, on the different uh, people you use in this uh, game. So I really like that. I appreciate. I really like. Not appreciate it, but appreciate it too that they used it. But I really like that because too. I really like it because of that too. Not only the boys, but also the girl, like Kazuki is a really... It's such a... you can also really relate... you can really relate to her thoughts, you know? This is... this is what I really like about her too. Because those are my honest feelings, Kelskin. Yeah. You're so weird. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. But... It's not really a bad thing. <laughs> oh, well, thanks. I think Chaos gives me uh, what looks like a fleeting smile before entering the arcade center. Whoa, it's so cute inside. I didn't expect that. I once saw it from the outside, and it was a really long while when I was in an arcade, and it looked different. There aren't many people inside, and Chaos goes straight to the crane game in the back of the room. You want to win something out of here? Kills nods. Oh, I really want to see that. Just imagine him like nodding with his, with his little puppy eyes of him. While searching around for some change in his pockets. But I heard once the, that they purposely made this game nearly impossible just to steal your money. But I really want that. Kills points to something in the coin container. And uh, I follow his finger. The kitten charm? He nods. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, the first thing he ever mentions. I don't know if he ever called anything cute so far, but just look at him saying it's cute with this face. Oh, it's it is. I won't deny that. 
Never in a million years would I have thought that Chaos would like cats so much. But somehow it suits him. Yeah, he is a kitty person. He is definitely a kitty. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. He has such a passion for kitties. Just imagine. What are these things in the background? Are these like some kind of weird shaped uh, animal cookies? Or are they, uh, you know, like in the... I will just point it with my mouse. Here, this. What the hell are these things? They look like Pokemons. <laughs> some, or uh, some kind of weird hat. Uh, uh, yeah, some kind of weird characters, you know, guys? Some from this uh, many series that, that are going on. Wow, but. Well, this is the only thing I was thinking about. <laughs> Don't mind that. I'm kinda in my my head is kinda in the clouds, so don't worry about it. Chaos puts a coin into the machine and takes the joystick in his hand. He moves it to the left where the charm is located and starts to lob of a crane. But the crane only grabs a corner of the charm before dropping it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, this is so adorable. I can't handle his cuteness. It's not the game, it's his cuteness. It's like it's reaching out of a computer and grabbing a hold of my head and squishing it together till I'm till I mind explode. <laughs> this is how I feel. It's a kind of really bizarre thing to say, but this is my honest feelings about the situation. <laughs> this is how his cuteness is getting to me. Oh, you are really close. Chaos tries a few more times, but it always ends up the same result. It seems like my theory is true. These things are purposely impossible, just so you keep putting it in putting in money. Kazuki, you try. <laughs> what? Me? Your name is Kazuki, isn't it? But I'm really not good at these type of things. Wait, what, what, what does it mean? Does it mean kinda Kazuki? Does it mean uh, luck? Good luck or something? <laughs> I'm not really sure what he wants to uh, suggest with that. But I'm not uh, really not good at these types of things. I'm not good with them either. Trust me. Just try once. Keo sends me one of his coins and steps aside. Go for it. Uh, okay, I try. I've never had the success in winning anything from these games, but I might as well give it a go. I move a crane to the left where the charm that Chaos wants is located and... Ah! Oh, I got something! The crane launches onto it and lifts it up. It steers up the uh, opening and the crane releases the charm and there's the sound of something falling into the train. Actually got it. <laughs> Look at him blushing. Oh my god, he's so... The thing is, he doesn't really smile. He just looks like happy, you know? He blushes when he's happy. This is what I learned about him. I'm the Chaos Whisperer. <laughs> Let's see. I reach into the tray and pull out the prize. Oh, I got something else, it seems. You didn't get the charm. <laughs> oh, no, he's so sad. Don't give me that look. Chaos leans over to see what I'm holding in my hand. What is that? <laughs> it's a headband with cat ears. Oh, come on, this is ex this is also pretty cute. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> Sorry, it's better than nothing, though, right? What do you expect me to do with that? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, I know where this is going. Chaos, just stand still and you're not running away, okay? <laughs> We're on a hunter mode right now. <laughs> what else? You're supposed to wear it. No way in hell am I wearing that. <laughs> Do it for me, Chaos. Do it for us all, for the fans and for everyone who really loves you, Chaos. Just do it for us. But it would be cute, yeah. There will be nothing cute about that at all. <laughs> it would be so totally cuteness overload if you would wear it. Come on, Chaos. Kill us with your cuteness. I think, I think, oh, maybe this is his psych. <laughs> his psych is cuteness. Like, he kills people because he's way too adorable. <laughs> well, and not really kill, but hurting people like that. <laughs> because I have a feeling my heart is going to explode pretty soon with my head. <laughs> 
come on, I want this for you. You don't have, uh, you don't, and you don't even appreciate it. That suits you more. Huh? You think I should wear it? Would it look cute? Oh, no, she, she knows what to say. Uh, I'm not answering. <laughs> God damn it, Chaos. Why are you being always like that? <laughs> well, if you won't answer, then you wear it. Chaos looks at me in silence, which I take for a yes, and reach up to put the cat ears on his head, but... Even standing on my tiptoes, I can't reach the top of his head. Oh man, he is pretty tall, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, I think when I saw Lucian's uh, picture with her, he, he was already tall, but I think Chaos might be the tallest of them all, right? <laughs> Why are you so tall? You say it like it's my fault. <laughs> of course it is, you drink way too, main, too much milk. Why do you always eat your vegetables, Chaos? Don't do that. Well, whose fault is it? Uh, give me those. <laughs> oh, guys, prepare yourselves. Because I'm going to end the part right here for you. Oh yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to end the part right here. Because I can't do it. I'm sorry, but I'll, I already uh, recorded really... Uh, for a real long time and I'm scared that I will get another problem with my equipment so just pray with me that everything will be just fine and you'll see really soon another part of Let's Play Planets Life of Nomads has ended on Chaos Path and I think we will certainly die from cuteness if we will see him in the next time hopefully wearing the cute little cat hat bent ears <laughs> But yeah, right now guys, thank you all so much for watching, for your support, your kindness and everything you gave to me. I can't say how much I appreciate it all, so thank you all again so much that you're here with me. And hopefully you keep enjoying your time here on my little channel, together as a community. But right now guys, we'll see each other on the next part of Let's Play Planets. And yeah, until then guys, see ya!